Turning now to the return to the classroom and the frustration already brewing over transportation issues, not even a week into this new school year. New York State reporting a one or excuse me, 15 to 20 percent shortage in bus drivers, which is on par with the national average, making matters even worse. First student, which is the bus company for the Buffalo Public School District, says as many as 30 drivers didn't even show up for work last week. Bus drivers tend to be older. Many didn't want to return to work because of the COVID-19 pandemic. But now parents and students are coming forward, outraged at the district because their children are getting home as late as seven at night. Senior reporter Eileen Buckley has more on these transportation troubles. When I heard they were going to be shorthanded, I knew this was going to be a disaster. Gary Cutright has four children who attend the Lovejoy Discovery School in Buffalo. He says last week he received notices that his 12, 8, 7, and 5-year-old children would be getting home late because of bus delays. Wednesday, they didn't get on the bus until 6.40, didn't get home to 7. And in my eyes, that's unacceptable for any children, let alone a 5-year-old. And what happened when they were held so late? Were they fed? All they got was that one small package of animal crackers. That was it to hold them over. Cutright received another call Monday to expect bus delays again and asked if he could pick up his children. But Cutright doesn't drive. And is it difficult for you because you rely on public transportation yourself? Yes, it's very difficult because if the NFTA wasn't given free rides to the students last week, I wouldn't have been able to go get them because I'm on a limited budget. The district issued this statement in response to the bus delays. It says in part parents were informed by the district's transportation department to expect delays. And it noted that the transportation delays are caused by the national bus driver shortage and the typical issues associated with the first days of school and expect them to be resolved or significantly improved. I spoke with school board president Lou Petrusi. We as the board do not, uh, we don't do the hiring directly. We, uh, we have a contract with First Student I know that is actively engaged, uh, that they've been trying to recruit as many drivers as they can. But Cutright says he blames Superintendent Dr. Kreiner Cash and the school board for not planning for the delays. I see districts across the country paying parents to take them to school or even giving out bus passes to go pick up their children. Buffalo just got all this money. They could have dipped into it. Would there be any consideration to offer, if you could, a free bus pass for them for public transportation in the, in just in the intro? My hope, Eileen, is that we get this resolved prior to us issuance of the bus passes. The district statement says 18 drivers out of 515 were reported to have resigned over the past 10 days, but noted first student has interviewed 192 potential new drivers and expects about 30 to 40 percent will make it through the final hiring process. Eileen Buckley, 7 Eyewitness News.